Hello and welcome to this Photoshop tutorials where we have some we're going over retouching so we're going to create this image look on a, some dual tone color adjustment so we have it a little bit colder warmer just complementary palette as well we just go also removing some of this from original image but with this is original image we'll go to uh, recrop this already cropped the image so we'll adjust framing um, we'll go to remove some of those elements and this is will be our final image with a coloring with increasing some contrast and colors and also additional retouching so let's go ahead and start work on this image okay so let's go work on this image and reason why because I want to see how we can remove some of these elements mostly I will sometimes will go a little bit closer but I think for purpose of a tutorial this will work very good so I'm going to open this image and it's open in camera RAM the first things we're going to do just to enable remove chromatic abbreviations and enable the profile a little bit correction on this the next we'll go in the sharpness and pop up to about 70 to restore original um, sharpness that you can see the Canon 5D Mark III, they have it in camera anti aliasing so we just kind of try to restore this. Next, uh, important steps, I want to go into our basic ones and take highlights, move all the way down. And you can see how it restores a little bit of details in our snow, and it goes too white. There you go, you can see how it darkens. And as we do this, take a little bit shadows and bring them to flatten just a little bit out, so the image going to start curves next i will move a little bit closer to the person right here to victoria face and we'll go to our hsl adjustments luminosity and right here we actually can bring a little bit more white around details on the depth so i'm actually bring just a little bit brighter and maybe just a little bit brighter on this on a yellow as well we know that our sky is usually blue so we're going to luminosity on this and we can see how we can actually bring a little bit down and I want to take just darken a little bit on this case and same on aquas okay um, we can bring saturation as well because I know I want my sky a little bit bluish so I will bring and you can see we have it colder but I want a little bit more color so I'll bring saturations on a blue and some aquas just leave it up it's add more interesting colors um i don't know if on oranges we can add but it will be very nice coloring between cyan and orange so it will be very complementary colors we'll bring those ones up as well we want to do with a who at this time we could actually go in, in collaboration right there and play a little bit more with coloring in this case but i think we'll just leave it kind of default you know maybe a little bit more right this area so we can see blue red i think this work very well so let's just bring just a little bit okay and here on the red just bring this is too um you know, so we'll go to the yellow because we add on the blue but again we'll add a little bit more coloring and other effects we could also add a vibrance at this point but i think we will do this afterwards okay um, i'm done customizing inside the camera and we'll go open our image inside the photoshop so the first things i want set properly framing and we'll do with crop tool as i do in crop i disable delete cropped pixels because i may need to come back and i just want to be kind of positioning slightly her right here in a corner a little bit and cut off a little bit on a sky and on a snow I'll just bring a little bit more panoramic so this is kind of will be my center of attention I want to keep it okay I think that will look kind of better composition so right now because we change you can see right here we have this ugly uh, fence let's modify this we're creating copy um, And we'll go inside let's closer and kind of start working on this so to modify we'll go to use our patch tool 
and with patch tool what I like it because we can actually go select oops actually I want to select a little bit bigger go like right there example and we can move out on here and you can see how it's already blended so sometimes I need to take additional elements and just blend them a little bit better so they apply it and between these tools and our cloning tool we'll actually remove it but right here let's go move around this area I can see coloring happening you know what let's go do this way so we'll just get take all this trail tool usually I try not to do a big pieces but we'll just do with this size and we'll just move right around there notice right here cloning when I see it's duplicating I'm probably just go move a little bit other areas and same right there do you see duplication so we'll just move out okay let's go to just select this area around here okay, again this is not necessary match so I'm going to select this area and move maybe around the forest I think this will look a little bit better right here just a little bit adjusting there's a matching piece take that one move it in some cases it does not necessarily look good so We'll, we'll try and go a little bit better okay let's go just select this pipe as well yeah we'll select bit break but again this is a little bit easy because we have all this messy bushes which is kind of very nice very easy to remove subject in this case okay let's go to remove okay right here duplicate so we'll just take this piece and again this is a little bit dark so let's go right here and I don't like how this piece is replacing so I'm trying to go a little bit better okay let's zoom out a little bit cloning right here we'll need to come back with the cloning tool on this one Okay, we still have it right this area. Okay, and you can see just select some of the elements that pop up very obvious into the eyes. So I want just to remove them. right here a little bit darker and what is try to do it's try to work very good there you go a little bit better this way okay we still have it overall you can see already it's look much better remove that forest because I right here this is need to retouch this area kind of will touch up a little bit more on this um, in some areas where we have at least bushes we need to be just a little bit more careful kind of matching with our trees in this case I'm taking smaller pieces same like right there going so we'll just take this small piece adjusting adjusting 
the last branch right here so we'll go select this area and just placing branch back okay select this element maybe around this area so you can see actually photoshop does a very very good job for us to take those elements and kind of reuse them you just need to find a spot that it's match kind of a little bit more to what we're trying to do and you can actually restore quite a bit this way um, if you have patience and you're just going around elements and you can see it's actually blend quite a bit well here so we still have it floating elements right there and I'm just trying to match the branch flow okay we also write this element I say luminosity Photoshop does a very good job to matching luminosity and case okay I think we hide it very good on this case so let's go back like this area right here and we'll just can use it with our healing spot brush so we'll go a sampling and I'm probably will sample around here we'll just kind of again it's not necessarily don't, don't like how it's look we'll go back and we'll select our cloning tool um, we'll set our opacity let's say about 30 percent we want to have it soft edges because we want edit and I'm just going maybe select around this area and just kind of start cloning a little bit over okay right here so a little bit edge on this case Go select let me look out okay, right there this edge kind of don't like how it's look and I want also um, align select this point and this is edge of the bushes I'm looking right here probably will work better this area so we'll just alt hold click so we're sampling this area we'll go back here and you can see we can kind of add there you go so smooth out a little bit this effect these ones still look kind of duplicated to me so i'm going to select this area add a little bit contrast to that there you go a little bit better I think okay but overall again this is small details so we just um, restore it and again you can see before and after so we removed the destructing fence so kind of create I think nicer look um, so in next portions we'll start working a little bit more on retouching the on a model add a little bit more dimensions to this